Hi, fans of um, Good Evening. Okay, today, um, I'm taking you on a tour. Take a look at this beautiful masterpiece. Take a look at this. Okay. You know what is this? This is Seraphic Lodge for the upcoming 100 Days Crusade. So this is Seraphic Lodge here. Yes, you can see we are fully prepared for you for this 100 Days Fasting and Prayer Program closing. Yes, yes. So I'll be taking you on the tour. I'll be meeting some of the team. We'll ask some questions and clarification, anything. If there's any question you want me to answer, do well to drop it on the comment section and there will be rapid uh, response to your question. So, for those of you saying, um, where do I have a place to stay? Of course you have. This is beautiful building. I can take a look. Here we go. Can you see that? <laughs> this is Seraphic Lodge. Yes, Seraphic Lodge. Just for your comfort and very affordable. You can see we are trying to ensure the safety and the comfort of all our members around the world coming for this um, 100 days fasting and prayer crusade. So, <laughs> yes, wow, wow, wow. So I'll be asking some of the engineers some questions. Some... Ah. About the building. So let's keep going. This is what it looks like. Uh -huh. hmm. I think I'm seeing one, two, three story buildings. Wow. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. This one is about more than thousands of ACs that are in here just for your comfort. We keep moving. <laughs> okay. We keep moving. Wow. Oh my gosh. Nobody's going to say, I don't have any place to stay. I am lying outside. Um, no. We are fully prepared for you for the closure of the 100 days crusade. One of the, um, the engineers. Yeah, he's, me, with me is um, engineer Mr. Arize Elogi, CEO of Team Assess Composable Limited, a top notch construction company, and is in charge of this beautiful project we came to inspect today. So, good day, sir. I'm pleased yeah, to meet you? you today. All right, thank you so much. Okay, we'll be asking you a few questions pertaining this building. I hope you're ready for us. All right. Okay. Okay, can you describe or explain to us the structure of this building? Okay, what you have here is um, the, the fourth floor building. And um, as you can see, it's 95% uh, completion. Um, we, are, we are doing everything possible to ensure the optimal use of this edifice by the time we'll be closing the 100 days prayer. Okay. okay. So how long have this project been on? Well, uh, it's, it's been on for just a few months. Just a few months, yeah. Can you be specific? specific yeah, I that? wouldn't say that, but just a few months, not up to six months, yeah. Wow, and you're able to achieve this? Yes. Okay, so what method um, do you use to monitor and track the progress of this construction projects? Well, we, we, we have a, a quality control system where uh, all the engineers, the architects, they are always on ground to supervise the casual workers, yes. Okay, what are the challenges you have encountered since this project commenced and how were you able to provide solutions to so Absolutely, uh, I wouldn't say there is any challenge. Uh, we are used to we are used to pressure, all right? As you can see, uh, it's a work that demands uh, good attention. It's a work uh, that demands uh, absolute uh, monitoring and uh, we did everything possible to ensure 
that our experts are on ground to supervise and to do the needful things to ensure the progress and the good delivery of the projects. So uh, apparently there hadn't been any challenge. The only thing we, we, we have here is the pressure due to the, 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 the limited time of delivery. Okay. But of course my company is put to the task. We were okay. still working on that pressure. You. Thank you. Okay, okay. Um and how do you keep your uh, your construction uh, team motivated to the start? Well, as you can see, it is a teamwork. Okay. You can agree with me from what I see here that everybody is working. Oh, sure, I So can. we understand ourselves. Like I said, it's a teamwork. And we understand ourselves. Okay, so how important is safety to you on this particular project? Yeah, drastic safety measure has been taken and uh, equally observed. Yeah, we ensure optimum safety of our our neighbors, our staffs, our casual workers, they are all on their normal safety attires. So how have you, um, your team, been able to cope with the increase in materials well, uh, in the part of the crisis? Uh, that is, uh, it is normal in, uh, in, this, in this dispensation. Uh, we wouldn't stop. We are already on it. So we'll keep doing our best. We wouldn't stop. Though there have, there have been so much increment in the price of, of, of building material, but we wouldn't stop. We'll keep doing it. Okay. So what should our expectations be from this building project? What are we expecting? Well, uh, this edifice you are seeing here is 500 capacity uh, hostel. Uh, this project, this building is designed to accommodate 500 in-house guests okay. from all over the world. In this place, we have the male hall and we have the female hall. Oh, the male hall, the female yeah, hall. Yeah, and each hall, we have three three floor halls there, and each hall contains nothing less than 170 occupants. Really? Yes. Wow. And it is fitted with state-of-the-art convenience and all other things you can think of, CCTVs, uh, games, um, right, sleeping there areas, all of that. Yeah, there's also a canteen there, yes. There's a canteen. Supermarkets, oh, really? traffic spiritual stores. Seraphic spiritual stores, Just which you can come and buy our... Okay. Think of, yeah. Wow. It is designed for absolute convenience of, of, the, of the guests. Yeah. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, so when is this building project going to be ready? Any expected time? Well, we are looking at, yes, there is an expected time. We are looking at handing over on the 15th of August. On the 15th of August? Yes. I was looking about like three, four days from today, thereabouts. Uh, not really. I think to Five be precise, days. it's around um, eight days from today. Eight days from today. Yes, and this like will that. be ready. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. So, um, so far, so good. Um, we want to thank you, sir, for giving us this room to um, answer our questions pertaining this building. Thank okay? you so much. Thank you so much. All right. So, we, we should hold you responsible if this building is not handed over to us uh, yeah. after eight days from today. Yeah, it? we are solely responsible for the delivery of this uh, massive edifice you are seeing here. Uh, I can beat my chest to you that uh, wow. this project will be, will be handed over to to Zion Ministry on the 15th of August. On the 15th of August, yes. 2023. Yes. All right, thank you very much. So we'll be coming back again on the 14th and sure what you have said, you kept your word. By the time you'll be back here on the 14th, <laughs> I'm sure what you'll be seeing will be absolutely different from what you're seeing now. Okay, because we can see behind you some air conditioners. I think they're trying to... Yes, yes. The, uh, the appliances for the project, um, we just brought them in now. And uh, in fact, as I'm talking to you now, it's already been installed. Oh, really? We don't have any time to waste any time at all. Okay. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right, have bye. a great day. Okay, so you heard from Team Master Construction, West African uh, Limited.
the soldier, they're giving us time. their word and assurance that this building will be handed over to Zion Ministry on the 15th, on the 15th of August 2023. So far, so good. From there, by the time we are back here, we'll be able to um, know the um, the scheduling, how you can book, accommodation, and the likes. For now, uh, booking hasn't uh, commenced. No booking for now because you can see still on uh, construction, some things are still on uh, installation. Okay, so this is the beauty, Seraphic Lodge. Take a look at this building. Take a look at this building. Tell me why you won't be here for this World Conference 2023. We'll be having different countries here America, U um, UK, Ghana, Dubai, Colombia, Angola, Togo, Cote d'Ivoire. Coastal case, can you see? So, you know, because of the inflow of people. So we have to we have this one, and we have this one. We have this one. I came in from my my left, but from my right. Okay, I think I can. Oh, jeez! So take a look, take a look, take a look, take a look. Yeah, yeah. This is massive. I'm on the top floor and I'm trying to show you what down, man. Okay. So, who have spent. Yeah, thank you very much. 